All right, guys, I'm here. I'm getting ready to start my uh, tutorial on how to build this thing. Um, I'm having a little bit of issues right now uh, with getting the battery to last longer than about a half hour. So um, I'm going to go ahead and probably just going to go ahead and switch out this 6 and a 0.2 inch screen because right now the best thing this can do is um, we'll just stick it with a uh, AC adapter and I can use it all I want. So since I'm having battery issues until I get a new uh, screen driver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a second one of these and I'm going to use this 5 inch screen from Adafruit. Um, I'll build a custom bezel to go around it and this screen only draws uh, 500 milliamps versus this one that is constantly drawing um, over one. So like I said, I've been able to get it all self-enclosed and get the runoff battery for about a half hour and that's pretty much about it so we'll go ahead and uh, get started here and we'll start building this other gamepad all right guys this is my completed one a couple people were wanting to see the inside i'm um, we'll going to open it up and show you guys how everything fits uh, so there is my raspberry pi zero and there is my 4500 milliamp battery um, so, I'll go ahead, and I've already taken the screws out of this thing, so hopefully it comes apart fairly easy. And you guys will be able to see. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, quite the mess, but uh, everything fits. It's uh, very tight, but it all fits. Only thing I'm missing here is my HDMI out. So there's the inside, and uh, these boards right here are actually these from Adafruit. Um, so on one side I have the uh, controllers. Um, for the joysticks on this side and on the other side, um, I was able to put this ribbon connector on this one. So with all this done, I can fit everything all on one board. Half the pins are used for the joystick, the other half are used for the buttons. Um, this board is amazing. Works out perfect. Alright guys. Got it taken apart here. All I did was I took off this cover to get the cover off. Just use a little flathead and pop off these little uh, square vinyl covers that cover up the holes. And then use a tri-wing screwdriver and go ahead and pull all those out. Um, obviously take off the battery cover and then disconnect the battery. This will go ahead and come off. When we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and take everything out that's in here. Except for these white button controllers. Um, those can stay in. They don't need to come out. Um, also, the speakers can stay in. The main thing we're going to get the screen out in this board. We will be reusing some components on this board and also sections of this board to make the build easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take all this out and then uh, we'll move on from there. Alright guys, this is probably the hardest part of the whole project. Um, you got these boards here. Um, this side what we use is the uh, ribbon connector. And on this side um, what we use is the connector that does the joysticks. So I will put black dots where I know where I want to put the connector so I don't get these things mixed up and confused. Um, but the hardest part is getting all these little tiny pins lined up. And it's a lot harder than what you probably think. Um, easiest way to do it I found is get solder put on there and then go ahead after you have the solder on there go ahead and set this in place and kind of clamp in, pl in place and then just heat it up with your soldering iron and just reflow everything back on there. Um, it actually works pretty well. Uh, we'll see if I can get it to do that easy in this video. Give this thing a shot. Actually, put too much on there. You want this nice and thin so it sits flat. All 
All right, guys, I got that thing all lined up. Um, we'll see if I can catch this on video here. Um, so if you just heat up the side, it'll actually solder down to the little connector on the side. And then this thing will be attached. All right, so it basically reflowed back in there. Um, so now all I need to do to complete the connection, um, I can come back in here and I can just heat up these little pads. Clean up any excess. Well, take this off really quick. And see, it looks like everything should be connected now. So, what I'll do now is I'll go back and double check it with my uh, voltmeter. Alright guys, I got the other uh, connector on. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm taking my board and this is the connector for the joysticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my knife underneath here and all I do is heat it up and kind of pry it up and slide it off or sometimes you can get lucky and just kind of start back here and just work your way slowly and it'll just pop right off. I went and got that connector off. I did not use my knife and come from the front side and got underneath there and pulled everything off. Uh, once you do that, you guys need to make sure you look at the back side of these and make sure there's not any pieces of the board stuck on there that aren't going to make contact. Um, it's really easy if you use a sharp knife to scrape that stuff off. So now all i got to do is these pins are actually um, not really made for this board. So if you just take a small little screwdriver and you push the pins, you can actually get them to line up um, really well on these uh, uh, landing pads here. So all you do is do exactly what we did on the other side, put a little solder down both sides, and then you reflow it, it'll stick down, and then just flow some solder back on these joints. And then this whole side of the uh, control board will be ready. So you just got to make two of these, and then you'll be done. Like I said, we're just going to repeat the process here. All right, now that's done. We'll just uh, get the voltmeter out. All right, guys, there you have it. So you got your uh, ribbon connector right here, which does all your uh, buttons. And then on the back side here, um, you have your connector that goes to your joysticks. So all you got to do is make two of these. And then once you get that done, you can get this thing all hooked up. So, it actually goes like this because it has to sit in here this way in order to get all these connections to work. And then this thing you just go ahead and twist backwards and clip on and everything will line up perfectly. It's no big deal. Alright, real quick guys, when you're doing these connectors, um, make sure um, you do them opposite. So if this one's on the bottom, you need to do this one on the top. Um, I just screwed up and did them the same and they need to be opposite to so one can go on one side one can go on the other um, they won't work out unless you do that um, so luckily I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on because I'm actually building two of these right now at the same time um, one's for me and one's for someone else so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build two more of these and they are actually gonna be 
on the upper this time and so luckily I lucked out so don't do that because these things can be uh, a pain especially if you're not used to it like I said I've gotten the trick figured out so I got both of these on there my first try without a big deal so I think I did each one of these boards in a matter of five minutes so now all I have to do is connect these up run the wires to a Tinsy and all my uh, control control board is done well here you guys go uh, took me about an hour I disassembled everything and then I uh, made these uh, boards and got the connectors all soldered on on uh, both sides I actually made four of these um, so I will be building two of these um, one is gonna have a five inch green uh, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna run a Pi Zero in that one or if I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, but I will be also making one with a 6.2 inch screen. That one won't have a battery pack. It will just have um, power input. And that will have a Raspberry Pi in it for th uh, for sure. So there we go. That's uh, the first process there, the buttons. Now all I have to do is come in here and um, hook all these buttons up to my Tinsy, which I have right here still in the package. Um, Wire that all up, program it, and I'll be good to go.